I'm Evan Thomason for This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now I'm standing next to Ken Wiseman, who's a search and rescue volunteer for the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Department. Uh, Ken, you're also the coordinator of an upcoming hike that's going to benefit the uh, search and rescues. That's right. Our 12-week, 12 12-hike 12 challenge kicks off March 12th and heads all the way till May 29th. And we're standing right now at Towsley Canyon, which is going to be the site of the registration and the very first hike. That's right. On March 12th, 8 to 10 a.m. in the morning, we're going to be registering here. The event consists of 12 weeks of hikes that are coordinated by Search and Rescue. Uh, the, the, some of the hikes are on Saturday, some are on Sundays. We have a complete schedule, and they start between 8 or 9 in the morning. So this is in, uh, open to the general public, and it's to benefit the Search and Rescue team. That's correct. Um, there is a $50 donation uh, as uh, to participate in the event, uh, and it includes a really nice event t-shirt and also a great barbecue at the end where all the hikers come together and celebrate uh, having been participants. And for those out there that haven't really explored all of the hiking opportunities here in Santa Clarita, it's a great way to get familiar with the terrain and the different uh, places to go. That's right. We, we have, um, last year almost 150 people uh, came out to, to enroll in our program. Many uh, already knew many of the trails, so they didn't actually come out and hike with our uh, led hikes by the team. Um, it's not, uh, the whole event is on the honor system, so folks who will enroll will just keep the team abreast of uh, what hikes they've done, and at the end they get a certificate if they completed 10 out of 12 of the hikes. So this is for beginning uh, hikers, is this for novice hikers, advanced? I mean, what kind of uh, skill level are, is this uh, good for? Good question. We've featured this event, or focus this event, on being um, out there for everyone. We have folks who are very competitive, who are going to do the hikes not just once, but several times, um, particularly as we move into the corporate challenge, where there's also, in addition to doing the hikes, there's a challenge to see how many miles a team can accrue. Um, so I would say that there's a good majority of the folks who are really coming out here because they, they've always wanted to see what the trails are all about, but were reluctant on their own. And this is their chance to get out with other folks, uh, make for a very social, non-competitive event. Um, in the, in the U.S. also about experience level, um, we have some hikes that are fairly long hikes. Mm -hmm. So uh, our challenge is not necessarily to do the entire hike, but to do that portion of the hike that you're comfortable with. Right. So in the, and, and many of these hikes are out and back hikes. So you'll start hiking into a canyon and up into the areas, and then uh, you'll reach the peak point, and then you'll come down. So for some, that might be, uh, even though it might be a nine-mile trip, they may hike in a mile, two, three miles and say, okay, that's a good day for me. I'm going to head back. And I think the great thing, for, especially for beginning hikers, is a lot of them um, are a little nervous about hiking by themselves and they aren't really sure what to do. This is great because they're guided. I mean, there, there are other people going on them. That's right. Search and rescue team members both lead at the, uh, the hikes and walk with the back, uh, with the, the slower hikers. And uh, we just really enjoy, for us, uh, it, this started as a familiarization with the trails. Um, I know for myself, as someone who hikes, I, you sort of find your favorite hike and do that one all the time. But the, uh, we started this as a familiarization uh, event for the team. And then before it even kicked off, realized, gosh, how great would this be to include community folks and then double our mission, uh, not, not only to familiarize, but get to uh, work with the community, help them better understand how to safely go into the trails, um, you know, to bring the appropriate amount of water and maybe snacks and uh, folks know where you're going in the trails so that uh, if you ever are lost, we know where to start looking for you. Absolutely, and this does benefit the search and rescue team. Talk about the search and rescue uh, squad out here in the Santa Clarita Valley and, and what you guys are up to and how this benefits them. Sure. Well, um, there are eight search and rescue teams throughout L.A. County. And here in Santa Clarita, we have our own team working with the local sheriff's department. There's approximately 15 members and right now probably four or five uh, recruits that are working towards membership. Um, our team uh, all have to be EMTs. That starts with the medical training. Um, most uh, or several, if not most, of our uh, volunteers are also reserves, which means they've gone through the sheriff's academy. Um, and then we also go through mountain rescue training. Uh, and so with those three trainings behind us and frequent um, team trainings, at least once a month, uh, we're ready to, to face the calls, whether it's a, a lost uh, hiker, an um, injured hiker, over the side vehicle, assisting the sheriff's department with uh, evacuations in the cases of fires, looking for Alzheimer's victims or lost children. We're, we're called out to help in a number of ways. And like everything else, it takes training and it takes equipment. 
That's correct. And on the equipment side, that's where the hike challenge really helps. Um, with uh, budgets as tight as they have been, um, much, if not, well, most of the budget that, that's been allocated out for search and rescue uh, has been replaced with efforts such as this to raise funds and have community support so that we can keep every one of our team members well trained in the proper uniforms with the proper technology and equipment necessary to affect a, a successful rescue. And I know that this is one event and there are other events. Um, talk about the uh, Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Foundation. Yes, thank you. Uh, the Sheriff's Foundation, which I'm a board member with, um, is a group that actually supports the search and rescue team amongst the, the station personnel, um, the posse team, the, the reserves in general, the explorers, and all of the facets of our local station. And our efforts there are to raise money to, uh, in this case we're talking about search and rescue, but also to help the entire station. Um, and uh, that's uh, also an area where the current budget cuts have had an effect on our entire station. So we're trying to do all the things we can to support uh, our deputies and all the support mechanisms in place to keep our community safe. Ken, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're out there and looking to explore different hiking opportunities in the Santa Clarita Valley, make sure you come out to Towsley Canyon on March 12th. Uh, bring your donation. It goes to a great cause, the Santa Clarita Valley Search and Rescue Team. Uh, for this week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.